Tell them we're not interested. Even though we are. It's business. They lower the price. Those people have had that corner store for 40 years. They sure did. And now they're selling it. They have to sell it. The neighborhood's changing. Which is why I want it. So this is your tactic to bluff? Rick, that whole area is going to be gentrified in another five years. And that corner is going to be perfect for boutique. Why don't you get that? Oh, well, I get it. It's exactly what you did to me. What? You were disingenuous. You lied. You, you pretended that you didn't want something that you really did want. Which was what? Getting me out of that house. Oh, hi. I'm still here. I uh, thought you were going to be at work. No, I am not going into work today. Ah, uh, sweet. Having sweet, a girl's sweet. day. Nice. <laughs> how's, uh, how's Junior doing? Mm. Making his presence known, that's for sure. That's good. Hey, um, I really liked your revisions to the swimwear. Thank you very much. Uh, I hope Dad likes them, though. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah he will, because you followed his notes to, like, a T. <laughs> <laughs> well, sometimes he has good ideas. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, no, his, his notes were excellent this time. He saw a lot more than I did. Mm, yeah. That's quite a compliment. Oh, I mean, I'm seeing my old man differently these days. You've seen a lot of things differently these days. Oh, I'm trying to step up in every way I can as a designer, a son, and of course, one day, a big brother again. that house of your own accord. You played me. Use that portrait of Stephanie to force my hand. You really don't care or give a damn what portrait is on the wall, do you? You provoked me to walking out. In the same day, you moved Caroline yourself in. My mother's portrait deserves a place of prominence in her home. With all due respect to Stephanie, the baton has been passed. It has to whom? You and Maya? Really? To a Forrester. A son of Eric Forrester. <laughs> which, uh... That's not you. Uh-huh. Huh? You gotta be careful playing that card because your dad sided with me. Well, how could he not? You, you just heaped on the guilt. What guilt is that, Rick? Stephanie's portrait. You manipulated dad, me, Maya. Hey, who else are you manipulating? Because sometimes I have to wonder. I don't think you realize how important this little baby is to me. You have other siblings, Thomas. None that are babies. <laughs> I mean, Steph is a little bit of a baby, but yeah. <laughs> Fine. I didn't realize you had such a thing for munchkins. Yeah, absolutely. I want to be close to my little brother, you know? And, of course, that means I have to be close with you and, and Dad. And I just, I don't, I don't want you guys to have a reason not to trust me. You know, you just have to be patient with your dad. He's just got, he's got his own issues to work out still. I get it, you know? And I, I really want his forgiveness on all this stuff, all the mistakes that I've made over the past year. I, I'm just stupid, but... I just, I don't want him to have a reason to refuse me time with my little brother. You know, I, I want to be a role model for him in some way or another and teach him a curveball. Like, that's, a, that's a smart move, a like, soccer coach. All of that, some more. Anyways, uh, I gotta get back to work. Do you mind if I grab some food out of the kitchen? Listen, you may not be in this house, maybe in the guest house, but you can always come and raid that refrigerator. <laughs> Hey, uh, uh, you okay? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I think I'm having a contraction.
Good. This is good. It's good to get things off your chest. So now you've done that. Let's get back to work. We've got stuff to do. You're dismissing me. I'm not. Uh, OK, if you want to call it that, yes, I'm dismissing you. I'm not your employee, Now, Rich. what are you, Rick? What are you? You're just a, a, a sad boy who doesn't want to be stepped on. Oh, you know it's coming to haunt you, right? It is haunting me. You're in my office all the time. I, I, I'm not talking about me. I'm talking about someone else that you've taken advantage of. Something you've done. It's out there. I'm also going to tell you something else, Rich. You keep on pushing people, the day will come someone will push back. All right. Thank you. I will take that advice and I will file it with all the other great pieces of wisdom you've given me over the years. But right now, I've got to focus on leading this company and this family forward. Okay, okay. Are you sure it's contractions? Mm, yeah? Yes, it's not like the breast and next ones. Oh, this is way more intense. Okay, okay. You're in labor. Come over here. Can I take a seat? Guy, hand me my phone. I have to call Ridge. All right. And the right. midwife. There you go. There you go. Okay. Here you, go. you probably don't believe that, but I, I wish things weren't like this between us. I'd like to believe that, but you're right. I don't. Hey, hon. Oh, babe, it's time. Time. The baby, it's kind of I'm in labor. I'm on my way. Uh, Caroline is in labor, so I I gotta go. I, I, I got a phone call coming. I'll take care of it. You you go. Oh, and Rich. Good luck. Mm, yeah, they just started. Okay, yeah, I'll start timing them. Yeah, Ridge is on his way. Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, the midwife is calling the doula. Okay. <sighs> uh, how you doing? You good? I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. I'm sure dad's on his way, just destroying every red light he can all, all the way through sunset. <laughs> I, I would be. Absolutely. Uh, uh, okay, yeah, there's another one. Okay, okay. Sorry, okay. <sighs> Rich, we had a meeting. Uh, he had to step out. Well, I'm sure he had a good reason. He always does, doesn't he? Rick, look. Caroline is in labor. He had to go home. Uh, okay. Okay, there it is. Um, is, is there anything else I can get for you? Do you need anything? Just help me keep it together until Rich gets here. Well, he better get here soon because I think this kid's gonna be seeing his brother before he sees his dad. You okay? You scared? A little. It does help that you're here, though. Hey. Everything <laughs> okay? Are you alright? Uh huh. It's yeah. time. It's time. Uh, Joanne uh, is on her way with Lori. I know. I know. I talked to her in the car. <laughs> and what are you? You're yeah, yeah. The, the contractions. The the first two were four minutes apart. <sighs> okay. <laughs> It, it, it's an honor to be here for the birth of your child, Dad. This is amazing. Forrester. That's wonderful. Yep. When is she going to labor? Not long ago. I, w I was here when Rich received the phone call. He took off right away. It's a great day for our family. Yeah, I suppose so. Well, were you and Rich in here arguing? What's the matter? We were clearing the air. But don't worry, Dad. I stepped up. I wished him good luck. I have a feeling he's going to need it. Not very nice. I'm not talking about the birth. I'm talking about after. He's controlling. He's always trying to control everyone. And now he's got this kid, which 
I don't envy. Well, fortunately, this baby is going to have an uncle and a big brother standing by. Well, Thomas is all about it. You think that, that he was having the baby. But me, you know, Ridge is never going to let me around that child. That's not true. Ridge knows the importance of family. It's amazing, you know that? What? How you side with him every time. You know he's not the upstanding person you make him out to be. Because he moved into the house when you moved out. I didn't move out. I left because he disrespected my wife. Now, did he give me a week, a day to work through this? No. It's because he planned it. He wanted to have the house to himself, Dad. All right, can we get past this? He and Caroline are about to give birth to a new baby. I'm about to have a family, too, or doesn't that matter? Or is it because Maya's transgender and she doesn't fit into the no, forest No, 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 no. You don't get to do that. You can be angry with me. You can be angry with Ridge about the house thing. You don't put words in my mouth about Maya. You're right. I'm sorry. I'm just so upset that I didn't see this coming. It's so obvious. I should have known it from the moment he took Maya's portrait off the wall. He is a master manipulator. He's manipulated you and mom, I, me. Who's gonna be next? How we doing? I think it's showtime. And you, Rich? <laughs> I'm okay. You know, it's uh, better that you guys are here. <laughs> Thomas, this is our, our doula and our midwife. Hi, Hi I'm Laurie. Thomas. Hello, Joanne. Uh, so you've been timing the contractions? Yeah, uh, 45 to 60 seconds every three and a half to four minutes. All right, sounds like we're in active labor. Okay. Sounds like we are. Yeah. yeah, so you've prepared the room. Mm, just yeah. like we talked it's, about. It's upstairs. Should we go there now? Yes. Okay, okay come on. Okay. Ooh. You're right to walk? Mm hmm I think I'll so. Carry yeah. you. No. no better walk. Sure, okay. <laughs> you okay? Know, you let uh, me know. Uh, right? uh, no. No, you. It's a private moment. Oh, yeah, 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 right. What were I thinking? Uh, just, just the mom, baby, and father. Can we try to look at this in a more positive way? Me being ousted? First my job, now my home? <laughs> Where's the positive spin on it, Dad? I'm sure your mother's very happy to have you and Maya in her home. Back to where I started. The same with Rich, back where he started, too. Rich has that beach house. I bet she never even gave one thought to moving back until he hatched that scheme. Go let him go find his own house. Hey, Dad, you were there. When he made the announcement to Caroline, how did she take it? She was surprised. You see? I guarantee they never even spoke about this. God, he is so fast, especially when it comes to screwing me over. No rules, no standards. Not like the rest of us. Right, Dad? Because he's not a forester. He is a forester. I raised him. He's my son. He's a Maroney. He acts like a Maroney. The guilt trips, the intimidation, just like Massimo. You know, let me tell you, the old apple doesn't fall far from right, the tree. All right, all right, all right. You're angry. I get that. I feel sorry for you, Dad. You may not see it now, but one day you're going to be in for a very rude awakening. Oh, I doubt that. No, trust me. I'm sure Ridge has at least one skeleton in his closet. Hell, if not a dozen. <laughs> All right, come on, look. Can we change the subject here? All right? Ridge and Caroline are about to have their firstborn baby in our house. You're about to become an uncle. Thomas is about to become a big brother, and I'm going to be a grandfather again. To Ridge's child, born in the Forester home. Good. Good, strong heartbeat. And 
You're dilated six centimeters, Caroline. <sighs> Here. Thank you. Plenty of fluids. And change positions as much as you can. Mm. Good. There's another one. Uh -oh. Yep, they're Ugh. coming more frequently. <sighs> yeah, oh, uh, just oh, God. Babe, just breathe, breathe in and out. Mm. Follow the breath. Good job, good job. You're doing great, Caroline. You certainly are. Okay, rest. But keep breathing deeply. <laughs> Remember. Everything I am, everything I embody, from this day forward, is yours. It's our vows. It's the truest words I've ever spoken. And now you're giving me a baby, doing all this for us. I love you so much. <laughs>